you know, the world has the two terms, diversity and inclusion. Oh, and yeah. the church has done that, you know, and, and perhaps that's a conversation right there. That's a chat moment that we now live, uh, Pastor Lightborn and Reverend Lightborn, we live in a time where those two phrases of diversity and inclusion, come as you are. It doesn't take all of that. It doesn't matter who you are. No, no, that's not what the Bible says. You come with your sins and your weaknesses, and then you realize that greater is he that is in us than he yeah. that is in the world. And Amen. this brings about change as you yes. yield to the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's the world we live in. And churches have become the ultimate places of diversity and inclusion in a negative way. Talk to me on that for a bit. I actually think I have a message. I don't know. I'm so mm -hmm. far ahead of myself right now. But I'm not sure if it's in February or if it's in March. And I'm speaking to that very uh, uh, um, issue of this mindset that this culture has taken on of inclusion hmm. and diversity. And that has nothing to do with your walk with God. Christians are not called to be inclusive, all inclusive, because God is very clear in, in, in um, Acts 4 and 12. It's not inclusive. It says there is no other name Given him a man under heaven, whereby we can be saved. No other name. It's, it, it, it's not an all inclusiveness. It's, it's not a love thing. It's not a, you know, come as you are thing. It's a standard and it's an expectation of accepting what God has laid out. And many churches today are, are going the way of uh, Balaam, as far as I'm concerned, looking for a game and, and, and merchandising the word of God. So they lowered these standards and, and they have no scriptural support mm. to be removing these boundary lines that, that were guidelines for my holiness and yeah. making people feel, feel comfortable to come as work, come as you are. Come as you are. Cool, but change. <laughs> yes, and change. And the mm. word of God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. Yeah. So again, we said it before, God, there is a standard that we as children of God must come up to. And even when someone, for example, first gives the heart to the Lord, um, as you said, yes, they come and we, we will um, love them, show support, but they have to change. You cannot remain the same. You have to change. Any yeah. organization, any organization mm -hmm. that we know of, even on our job, environment yes. when you come to that job they teach you the standards of the job yes. they teach you what the expectations are but good. we yes, have a, good. we have a church culture now that's cut the mindset of saying listen look what we are just like you come in come be with us we are just like you why not like those old time christians you know we are just like just like you we dress like you we have fun like you and this is the this this new age culture that has nothing to do with with this great word called holiness. And My what's God. also outstanding, mm. let's just use football. I mean, as everyone knows in Bermuda about football, if you are on a football team, you better believe you can come as you are. You have your, your uniform, your gear, as they call it. Mm. Um, and everyone looks the same. They're dressed um, yeah. in their football attire. But when it comes around to church, Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We have every yeah. excuse why we can't dress appropriately for the house of God. And then when we go out to dinner or if we go to, a, say, a wedding reception or, or somewhere where you have to dress up, we can dress up, got the makeup on, the hair, but mm. coming to the house of God. Yeah, yeah. A few things, um, you know, Bishop, uh, Bishop McCullough. She made a statement our last meeting. She said, um, you dress who you are and you are who you dress. Yes. yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And then your example, Reverend Eunice, when you are a part of a team and people are looking in from the outside, they don't have to ask mm -hmm. which team you're on. No. They know Thank by you. how you're dressed. Yeah. Thank you. They identify yeah. you because you have come into alignment 
with that which has been previously established. And yes. then my third point, which makes me uh, become sad for a moment, based on what you share, Pastor Randy, which is so true, is that we have encouraged others to forget the old landmarks, yeah. to mm -hmm. forget where historic wells were yes. built. Yeah. Now, we literally have done that. The world could never do that. Mm -hmm. We had to give legitimacy and actually do it ourselves Mercy. and then here is the example of our lord and savior jesus christ he he called people from different occupations but they couldn't stay how they were and you, you have say. to think about how when you know peter yes it was jesus and he immediately had to put on a covering and that's a <laughs> word right there when you, yes. when you have jesus, when you have jesus and yep. Jesus is in your midst. There's a different covering. My God, yes. there's a different covering you take on. And so Amen. no matter if you're talking about the fishermen, the tax collectors, whomever, we read in the Gospels where they definitely were in a part of the world because when it came down to the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, some of them ran and hid because the world was identifying them. Yep. That's yep. right. All, all That's but John. Right you know, forsook the savior because of Mercy. the fear of the world. And so yeah. I put it, here's my big sentence that many churches today are forsaking Jesus, the standard Mercy. of the kingdom because of the fear of the world. Well, we will win them. Well, our churches will become empty. Well, we will have young people. And so you just see church. Mercy. So who is standing up? Which, which churches in Bermuda, in the UK, in the world are being that I will not deny you that John church. That's it. See? Mercy. Or that repentant Peter. Yeah. You see? And it, you know what it takes? It takes a true with Peter, of course, who denied Jesus three times. It took a real experience with the Holy Spirit, the day mm -hmm. of Pentecost, mm -hmm. to Mercy. transform him. Where yeah. then he said, no matter what, I love you. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him because before yeah. he was telling them something else yep. before he wouldn't tell him who he was. But now he says, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell the sheep. I'm going to tell the sheep. I'm going to tell the lambs. I'm going to oh, tell see. them. That's so it. Oh. The accountability. This is why you really shouldn't really run after being a pastor That's because <laughs> your hands all of a sudden become massively accountable for yep. are you causing Oh, the mercy. people to go astray. Woo! Are you denying oh, the standard yes. of holiness? It's oh. frightening. I mean, it's not something I embrace with That's joy. It. Uh, I'm I very myself so... to be a castaway. That's it. That's it. That's it. My God. Lest, yep. lest after I have preached, preached, yeah. taught, yeah. my God, through, through, through my fifty years of salvation, if and growing up in, in Pentecostal church and yes. the standard of holiness and dress. If I come against that, Mercy. did I ever really believe it? Or was I, was I emotionally or strategically indoctrinated, but my Mercy. spirit was never linked what, to it? What These was really in? What, what was, was, was really in? in. Yeah. And yes. what's really in will be revealed. I, you know, I what, always go back to that. that um, um, I don't know what's the proper way to say it. I... I, I, I I'm going to say it's a parable, but Jesus talked about uh, um, the king when he invites those oh, to yes. dinner. Yes. I love that. And then, when you, see you know, it, yeah. um, it's nothing but excuses. Mm -hmm. I think about a message from that. Mm -hmm. too. And that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a deep thing that you share. And I, we don't want to give it away now on this chat. But <laughs> when it comes up, we're going to have to have yeah. another chat about it because it's extraordinary. But, uh, yeah. And, and, and we'll just say this as the tagline. The king decides how you dress. Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. it. It's that's it. 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 Yeah. Oh, my Lord dear. Lord have mercy. My Lord. <laughs> Come as you are, hey. That's it. <laughs> Come as you are, hey. Oh, never my make goodness. it in. Yeah. yeah. And you know what so, you really know. bothers me? I'm sorry. Go mm -hmm. ahead, No, no. Go ahead, Rev. You know what really, um, I would say, I would say concerns me or disappoints me is 
the well-known speakers that you would turn on TV and watch and follow and listen to and how they have brought the, the dress standard down. I'm like, yeah, yeah in it, Sunday service and you're looking like- Yeah, at a nightclub. Yeah. yeah. A casual nightclub. And, and, a casual and, here's, nightclub. and here's the thing, let's say, which is not so, let's say I say, well, you know, it's all right for females to wear a nice pants outfit. You know what I just did? Give them five miles because it, the next year is going to go down further, 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 further. Exactly. And that's what we see. That's exactly. what we see. It, it, mm -hmm. it never is. Well, we're just going to allow this. No, no. You <laughs> open up the gate fully yeah. and they will push through it because that's the way rebellious people, teenagers are, children mm -hmm. are. And that's why they're the sheep and the flock. And That's the it. lambs, yeah. because yeah. they need that direction. L they I see where we have these flocks. Yeah, they need a boundary. Yeah. That's it. And boundary. don't move the and, boundary. And the boundary. Yes. Yes. Once you move the boundary stands, where are you going to stop to? Once Mercy. You, where are you going to stop? Um, yeah. This is the, yeah. this is the fight that... Uh, um, holiness churches and sanctified um, churches are going to be up against with this new age uh, um, uh, mindset. Right now, that yeah. you know that it's the the world can come as they are, mm -hmm. and that while willing to dress like you to make mm -hmm. you feel comfortable, no, yeah, scripture. To bring you, you look at scripture. Scripture. <laughs> Jesus didn't try to make people feel comfortable. No, that's the truth. He said, "Listen, he that is revolting cast." The first student. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We all got issues. We're not here to pamper those issues. Well, we, right. we are here to deal with them issues. And that's what the word to. of God does for us. Mm -hmm. But then this new age ministries are not using the word of God to cut and heal people. Mm. They are dumbing down the, mm. the word of God, dumbing down the dress code, dumbing down the standards of buildings. So that people can come church and don't change, but mm -hmm. just come church, mm -hmm. but don't change. And, and I let me add this sentence that I've said before: holiness is not in your dress, but holiness will address how you dress. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You see, yes. that's it. I think you, I think you said it so, uh, in, in Sunday evening's message. What you're exposed to exposes you. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it. To expose yep. You. Yep. Where mm -hmm. you at? Where mm -hmm. are yep. you really at? Absolutely. And so, you know, uh, Pastor and Reverend, the conclusion of the matter at this moment is that if I really honor where I came from, mm -hmm. um, if I truly not only honor, but understand. You see, the, the lack of understanding is what drives people away. That's it. And so this causes you and I to yet hold firm to the sanctity and the excellence of the kingdom. Yes. <laughs> Deserves more than the queen, king, premier, yeah, yeah. priest, yeah. anything. You know, and so this yeah. is the mindset uh, with which we prepare to worship our king. Amen. Yes. You know. No, I'm not trying to have this go too long, but let me just say this. When we get to heaven, you think we're going to be wearing booty shorts and, and things like oh that? Oh, my God. No, sir. You, no, no sir. we're going to have a, a, a robe. We're going to be robed, not just Amen. with righteousness, but a physical robe to match the righteousness. Yeah. And, and, and give me no um, um, sensuality encouraged no. in heaven. No, sir. And we've allowed sense. That's a whole new conversation. We've allowed sensuality in the house of God. That's why. That's why we're going full foolish. That's why. Yeah. Mercy. Uh, ooh, Mercy. I'm telling you, that's a that's a conversation. Lord. Listen. Thank you guys again yes. Amen. for this impromptu, what I call an impromptu chat. Amen. Yes. Yes. And so Amen. we'll come at you next time when God lays it on our hearts with the Amen. light horns to have another chat. Blessings abound. Blessings abound. All right.